All right, so I want to go over these electric field lines questions again. Uh, just because many people have trouble with these kind of multiple charges and trying to find what the electric field line is at a certain point. So as shown in the diagram above, a positive charge Q1 is 2.6 microcoulombs. So we're going to call this 2.6 microcoulombs is located at point negative three meters. Okay, so negative three meters. And a positive charge Q2 is equal to 1.4 microcoulombs. So this one is 1.4 microcoulombs is located at four meters. Find the magnitude and direction of the electric field at the origin uh, due to the charge Q1. So the origin is right here, okay? So that's where the origin is. So we wanna know, what, find the magnitude and direction of the electric field at the origin due to Q1. So this is Q1 here. And what we should know about Q1 is it's gonna be emitting an electric field outwards. And out, since this part right here is gonna be going, is directly on the same line as it, the electric field is gonna be pointed to the right like this, okay? It, again, it's emitting electric field outwards, but from here to here, the electric field by this charge is moving to the right right there. Okay, and let's find out what that electric field is gonna be. So we know this is gonna be using the electric field is equal to K Q1 over R squared, okay? Again, there's nothing over here. We're just trying to find what the electric field is by this charge right here, okay? So we know K, nine times 10 to the ninth, Q, 2.6 times 10 to the negative six. And then it is three meters away, three squared. So let's put that in our calculators. So we get this as 2600 uh, newtons per coulomb. Okay, and so I'm gonna just say that's going to the right, so I'll just add right to the right there. I could have just said positive and that would have been fine. So I know that's 2600. Part B now says find the magnitude and direction of the electric field at the origin due to charge two. So again, charge two has an electric field emitting outwards like this, but since it's on the same line, it's gonna be emitting field an electric field outwards going to the left. Because again, it is outward from this point right there. So I'm gonna do electric field is equal to K Q2 R squared. Nine times 10 to the ninth Q2, which is gonna be 1.4 times 10 to the negative six. And then it's four meters away, so four squared we get nine times 10 to the power, whoops, nine times 10 to the power nine times 1.4 times 10 to the power negative six divided by 16. And we get 787.5.5 Newton per Coulomb. And this is going to the left. Now it says find the magnetic uh, whoops, not magnet, find the magnitude and direction of the net electric field at the origin. So when we're looking at that, we know that there's 2600 going to the right, 787.45 going to the left. So we're just gonna be adding those two together with their proper signs. And then what we're gonna see is we have 1812.5 Newton Coulomb to the right. Okay, so this is the net electric field. And what this means is if there's a positive test charge going over here, it's gonna be moving to the right like this because the net force is gonna look something like this. Okay, it's gonna to go to the right like that. Okay. Or I should say the net electric field. All right, let's look at the next slide. So uh, a charge Q1, negative 32 microcoulombs, negative 32 microcoulombs, on IX is four meters. And Q2, which is gonna be positive 18 microcoulombs. So it's gonna be positive 18 microcoulombs. is fixed on the x-axis three meters. Calculate the magnitude of the electric field E1 at the origin. Again, the origin is right here. And uh, by charge one. So we know charge one is negative. So that means everything is going inwards towards it. So that means from the origin, it's gonna, it's gonna be going inwards. So it's gonna be going like this. Okay, that's gonna be the electric field, and we're gonna try to calculate what that is. So for A, 
E1 is equal to K Q1 over R squared. 9 times 10 to the 9th Q1, which is going to be 32 times 10 to the negative 6. R is 4 meters away. 4 squared. Put that into our calculator. 9 times 10 to the power of 9 times 32 times 10 to the power of negative 6 divided by 16 and we get 18,000 newton per coulomb. Delvin newton per coulomb and this is going upward so I'm just going to put upwards. You can, you can leave it as positive because positive means it's going up. Okay. So we can see it like that. Now it says calculate the magnitude of the electric field E2 at the origin due to charge two. So again, this one over here is positive, so it's emitting outwards. So if it's emitting outwards at the origin here, it's gonna be going to the left like this. We're gonna call that E2. So E2 is equal to K Q2 R squared, which is nine times 10 to the ninth. Uh, 18 times 10 to the negative 6 over r squared, and this is going to be 3 squared. Okay. 10 to the power of, whoopsies, 9 times 18 times 10 to the power of negative 6 divided by 9. So again, this one is going to be 18,000 newton per coulomb to the left. Okay. And we can see it has the same amount of electric field because even though this one's weaker, it's closer. Okay, so now it says draw and label the electric field E1, A2, and the net electric field at the origin. So this is what E1 looks like in E2. Uh, the net electric field is gonna look something like this. Okay, that's the E net. Okay, because part of it is in the X direction and part of it is in the Y direction like this. Calculate the net, like, net electric field at the origin due to the charge of Q1 and Q2. So now we're gonna be combining both of these uh, so if I were to draw it, maybe I'll do this one in green. So we have, we're going up and then we're going to the left. So this one's going to be 18,000 and this one's 18,000. And now we're looking for what this is, E net. Maybe the angle as well. So E net is going to be equal, I'm just going to use Pythagorean theorem here. And we can find out that E net is 25,455. 25,455.8 Newton per Coulomb. And that angle is gonna be 45 degrees, or we could say, um, 40, yeah, so that's gonna be a 45 degree angle. And I could say, or I could just say north, uh, Northwest. Ba -ba -ba. All right, all right, and that's about it.